Now, when it comes to cover pages, we need to just um, bear a few things in mind. First of all, in order to insert a cover page, we're going to go to the insert tab. And there you can see I've got cover page and you can see I've got a number of templates that are already built in. Underneath that, I can also remove a cover page if there's already one in place. But just bear the following in mind when it comes to cover pages. The cover page will always be inserted at the first page of our document. So it always takes over page one. Um, also bear in mind that the theme, so when we go to design, whatever the theme is, the cover page will automatically be adjusted to that. In other words, when I do this, I choose Berlin as my theme. I go insert cover page. Do you see the colors and how it's changed? Well, let's do it again. Let's select um, mesh insert cover page. Do you see how that's changed? Right. According to the theme of the document. Also be in mind that when you insert a cover page, um, the option of different first page will be selected by default. Now we'll remember that from our header and footer. Remember different first page. And this is important to note because when you have a document with multiple pages, the cover page won't affect it. But we'll look at an example. So let's go and check out one. Here's a document. We want to insert a cover page. And I'm just going to select anyone over here. And there you can see no page number. Look at my second page. It remains page one, right? As we said, different first page option is selected by default. So let's go to design. Let's change the theme. Let's use Berlin and you see what happens throughout my document. OK, let's use another one. This one has um, already got a, a cover page. So what we're going to do is remove it. How do we do that? We go to the insert tab, cover page. And we are going to say remove current cover page. OK, so that's done. But then in this module, they also want me to do, I think, two other things. The first of which was changing the vertical alignment of the page. So for that, because I'm dealing with the page itself, I'm going to go to the layout, my page setup, and I'm going to go to my page setup dialog box. And over here, I'm going to go to layout. And there you can see the page, the vertical alignment of the page. They want me to set it to center. From there, the last thing they want me to do is change the distance of the page border from the edge of the page. So have a look at the bottom right hand corner. I've got borders. And here, the only thing I can really do is to go to options. Now, this is going to open up another dialog box. And here you can see I can set the distance from the edge of the page to 30 PT. I can always go and type that in if I don't want to just do all of these clicks. And there we go. I've got that in place. Click OK. Click OK. You'll see how that changes. And guys, that is basically it when it comes to our cover page, the themes and some of our uh, settings around the page borders and margins as well.